the formidable robot. I remember seeing a short film on Cartoon Network that was premiered after an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball a few years ago. The film was titled, Stairway to Overland, and it was, well, an interesting film, to say the least. I lived in a small apartment around Wisconsin and I would constantly watch Cartoon Network if I was bored. It was somewhere in the mid-2010s when this film was premiered. The film was around like, I don't even know, 5 to 11 minutes. I just couldn't understand the description of the movie, but like I said, it was an interesting watch. Here's what basically happened. I was at my apartment with a 24-inch television in my living room. Yeah, it's not really an interesting apartment room. Since I don't like living in apartments, I also want to say that I do work at a Goodwill store that is nearby me and I have a few friends who are big fans of Cartoon Network and even watch the channel to this day. I think they were friends that I could relate to. But this film would have disturbed me when I actually saw it as a kid. I sat down on the couch, it was a pretty stormy morning out, therefore I had breakfast and did my daily routine. It was at least around Saturday when I watched an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. Well, my lack of boredom grew even more after what was gonna come on next. A film that I already said, The Stairway to Overland. The film started with a black screen with the title and a shot at the moon. It was a cartoon film, of course. What's pretty surprising is the fact it looked like this was made in the 2000s and was a 2D animated film. But the shine of the moon was made pretty adroit, to say the least. The film's soundtrack was like something you'd expect from your typical Halloween film. What was more interesting the fact it was around October when I watched it. The scene cuts to a car with what appears to be a cartoon man. The style looked like it appeared to be a style of South Park mixed with a drawn body, which was quite interesting, to say the least. However, the head was drawn bigger than the width of the body and was a circle of course. The man had a brown jacket and grey pants with a brown flat cap. He also has blonde medium hair and brown eyes. His name was Ian, from whatever I heard. What Ian grabbed out of his vehicle is what appears to look somewhat exactly like a body covered in white tarp. Pretty disturbing for something to air in a channel aimed for kids, eh? Well, I will later explain why Ian actually got him. He basically went to a nearby graveyard to dig up the corpse. There was fog covering the graveyard and the moon shines towards Ian. Ian looked at the moon for at least two seconds before he removed the tarp. The tarp was removed and what it reveals was a grey corpse of a man. It was rotting and the body did have maggots in them. Which was really disgusting, however there was no blood on the body. This is just like in the Nasty Patty episode of Spongebob Squarepants. Ian shovels the body. This lasted for at least a minute or two and Ian was definitely sweating up. But he did not give up and fully dug the body towards where it would be. After this, Ian buried him and walked out. Well, until something was gonna come out of the ground and it was pretty spooky. What came out of the ground was a massive fetus, which had legs of a centipede, which had spider eyes and an uncut umbilical cord. The fetus had bat ears and had an earthworm as a tongue, in which the earthworm had a mouth and it's shaped like a circle. Ian, didn't care. He just stood there, waiting to die and get eaten by the fetus. In which he did, off screen. The film ended there. It was astounding, but not scary. But I'm pretty sure there might have been terrified children who have accidentally watched this and I can guarantee you that. If I was a young child, I would have been pretty spooked on what I have just witnessed. Since it did include a bug-like fetus in the film. I looked up this film, Stairway to Overland, online two months later, and what I have just seen is what probably explains what the film was actually about. It reads, Stairway to Overland was an animated film made on October 31, 2002, and was like a Halloween short film that was aired on the channel twice. This film is rare to find, and was first aired in 2002 and then aired again in October of 2015. The film is about Ian, a 25-year-old man, driving to bury his friend Jake who died from a cardiac arrest, and found his corpse two days after Jake died from hiking. The film continued with Ian, sad and miserable, burying Ian for a few moments due to the fact he was one of his best friends for a very long time. 
Ian, however, knew that this graveyard was cursed or haunted and the fact he wanted to join with Jake. So he went to this cemetery. Then a massive bug-like fetus came along, so Ian can get devoured from losing a friend. The film was cut due to the fact of it being scary to young audiences at the time. But the movie did have a few deleted scenes. Ian had two parents who were abusive to him and would constantly hurt and abuse him. He was also a victim of bullying until he found Jake and began to relate to him. The person who Ian felt like he only loved was Jake and he would later die from cardiac arrest from hiking. It isn't known how he got the cardiac arrest, and Ian was too miserable and therefore had to join with Jake.